What is going on guys, Steven here and today I'm back to bring you another China phone tutorial. Now today I want to show you how to install TWRP custom recovery on every rooted MTK based smartphone. So we will do this here on my pre-rooted EQ Focus from coolicool.com and you can also find a written tutorial on chinadevices.com and the link will be down below in the description. Okay guys, so let's get directly started and now I want to show you what you need for this. Okay ladies and gentlemen, now before we can start we have to make sure that our smartphone is rooted. So make sure you also have Super SU on your smartphone or King user or whatever and make sure that the Super user binary is up to date. So run the application and here just go to continue to update the Super SU binaries and go to normal and it should actually update them. So make sure that your smartphone has root access. You can also check that with root checker. And if your smartphone is not rooted, then this will not work. And we have a lot of tutorials on how to root your smartphone on chinadevices.com. So feel free to check it out. Okay, when your smartphone is rooted, we have to do a second thing, which is very important. We have to go to the develop options, which you can find here in settings. If you just go down here to the bottom and in the develop options, you have to enable USB debugging. If you cannot see developer options, you have to tap seven times here at build number, okay? Then go back, just go to the developer options and make sure USB debugging is ticked. So that box here has to be ticked. Okay, so now you're ready to go. Now you can grab your USB cable, grab a coffee, go to the computer and download all the necessary files. So let's go guys. Okay guys, we're now here on the computer and now you have to download several important things. First of all, you need to download the MTK Magic TWRP installer. This was actually released on xdadevelopers.com and you can find the link down below in the description or on chinadevices.com. Now this is how it looks like on XDA and you will see here two versions. So we have here the older version for USB mass storage, that's for older operating systems and also if you have problems getting it detected. And the newer one here is 2.8.1, that's for MTP. So you have to switch to MTP USB mode on the smartphone. You just connect that and boom, it works. So if you can't get it connected, just try a different version here. Now you can also see here once again what you need. So it requires root. You also need the ADB drivers. Those drivers are really important. It's just a simple installer. It's from PDANet and you just download and run that. And you can find the link also down below in the description. So make sure you install the ADB drivers because without ADB drivers, it won't work. Now USB debugging should be already activated. On Windows, you maybe need to deactivate UAC. You just have to Google that. It's actually pretty easy to do that. And also maybe you have to disable driver signature enforcement. And you don't need to unsecure your boot image. So it will tell you if it's um, unsecured or not, but you don't have to do that. And it's compatible with Android KitKat. Okay, so there you go, just download that. Now you also go to download MTK Droid Tools and we have it right over here. So you can find the link on chinadevices.com, just be sure to register and download. And then you just run MTK Droid Tools here as administrator. And you also now connect your smartphone to the computer. Just make sure you have the drivers installed on your computer. So there we go. And now we just check if ADB is working because if it's not detected in ADB mode, this whole thing with installing the custom recovery won't work. So let's go, just wait a second. And there we go guys. So MTK Droid Tools detects my smartphone. That's pretty good. So I can see here EQ Focus, that's pretty nice. And if it's detected in this tool, you're good to go and it will also work in the TWRP installer. Now here you will also be able to backup, but you just need to have proper root shell access. So on my smartphone there's something fucked up with the binaries and you have to root here manually with the button. That will just give you temporary root to backup. But um, if you want to have a tutorial on how to backup your smartphone, you can also find it on chinadevices.com. So let's just start the magic TWRP installer. So once again, make sure the smartphone is connected to the computer. USB debugging is activated, drivers are installed. And now you're just going to run that installer here as administrator. 
When you run it for the first time, you have to watch an endless list of credits. So the developers who made this tool are really fucking awesome, so check them out. Pretty cool. And this tool makes life so easy. Now here we have the easy magic TWAP install of MTK. It asks you what you want to do. We are going to choose the start easy magic. You don't have to do anything, you just hit OK and it installs TWAP. You can also unpack and repack the recovery image here. But we will cover that in another tutorial. For now we are just going to do the easiest way on how to get TWAP, so let's go. Ok, now here another question. Do you want to do the auto mode or the manual mode? If you go to manual, so if you press no, then you have to insert your boot image, recovery image to mod it. We are not going to do that. We go to press yes, this is auto mode and it will just copy all the necessary files from your smartphone. That's the easiest thing, ok, so just hit the yes button. And now you just have to read carefully what is displayed on the screen here. So now it tells us to connect the smartphone. So just give me a second, I will connect it. OK, so it's connected right now. And now I just hit the OK button. So it starts now to install TWAP. And you will get some questions here. So you have a secure boot image, you have MTK6592, so just make sure everything here is correct. And also sometimes you have to press yes or no, okay? So maybe there will be another question. Okay, I already have a custom recovery, so I get this question here, but you probably won't get it. So I will just overwrite it. Let's go to yes. Okay, so just wait, don't touch the sm smartphone, don't disconnect it. And there we go. This can take up to a few minutes. So here you also have to confirm that you have full HD screen. And this one here is important. If you already entered recovery and your screen was flipped, like with CWM for instance, you have to press here yes. If it was not flipped, then you just go to no like I do, okay? And I think that was the last question, so we just have to wait a couple of minutes. And then we'll have TWRP on the smartphone, that's pretty cool. So let's just wait a few seconds. And yeah, okay, so it is rebooting into the recovery. If it doesn't reboot, you have to reboot manually into recovery. I will show you that just in a second. So if it doesn't reboot, just disconnect it and turn it off. And now I will show you how to boot into the MTK TWP recovery you have installed on your China phone. Okay, so now let's see if this whole shit here was successful. Now make sure the smartphone is turned off. And now let's try to boot into the recovery. Now normally you have to press and hold the power button and the volume up button on MTK devices to boot into recovery. You don't have to use the home button. If it doesn't work with volume up and power, just try with the home button too. But just try it for now with the power button and the volume up button. And keep holding them until you can see the logo and then just release them. Normally, now you should boot into recovery. So we're now here in TWRP, really awesome. So what is the cool thing about this recovery? The cool thing is that you can use the touch screen, which you cannot do on CWM. And also it has some a little bit more features and I really like it. So for me, TWRP is much better than CWM. Now we got here install backup, so you can do everything. You can install different ROMs, you can backup your current ROM, mount different partitions, wipe cache, factory reset, whatever you need to do. And it's really important for me to have a custom recovery on my Chinese smartphone. To get out of the recovery, just tap add reboot, go to system and it will reboot into Android. Now this was my quick tutorial on how to install TWRP on every MTK based China phone. I hope you enjoyed it and it sometimes doesn't work on all devices. If you have problems, please feel free to check out chinadevices.com, register, open a new thread and we will try to reply as soon as possible. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I hope I see you again in my next videos. Bye.